Hey beautiful blessings. Watch me and my girls make these beautiful floating candles. This is a Valentine's Day special theme. We had fun in making these. And it's a quick and easy DIY that you can make with your friends and your family. So yeah, let's get into this video. Make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so these are the Orby instructions. It says um, get a Ziploc bag and fill it up kind of halfway and then add a bead to it. And it says that it should take like um, 18 hours, but honestly, it took only like, I'll say like five hours for it to absorb everything. So I took um, two gel bags and then I took a big Ziploc bag and then I um, poured it in there and then I just waited about um, five hours, I'll say, and then that's when all of the beads absorbed it and it expanded and got bigger. Orbeez. Orbeez. Don't squeeze them. You need them. I love Orbeez. Orbeez is so beautiful. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So now that we have the Orbeez expanded and everything, we are going to take the vases that we're going to use for the design and we're going to just wipe it down and clean them down. I'm taking some good cleaning spray. Um, this is some really good cleaning spray and it actually smells good too, so that's a plus. So anyway, you just want to wipe down your glasses. Um, the glass vase. Harmony's helping me wipe it down because she just wanted to be a helper. She's a good helper. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So just make sure that the vases is cleared off and clean from any like fingerprints, dust, anything like that. So you're going to wipe it down pretty good. Alright, so now that we have the vases cleared off from any fingerprints or any dust, go ahead and take a pitcher of water. Um, I just use a lot of water for this because I have some pretty big vases and some small vases as well. And um, make sure you have everything that you want to use. Right now I'm kind of just playing around with everything, trying to figure out what I want to use and how I want to use them basically. So these are some cool LED lights that I got on um, Timu. And I'm gonna link down, I'm gonna drop a link of everything that I got. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of playing around at this point, trying to figure out which items I wanna use and for which base that I'm gonna use it for. And then I'm taking my floating candles, I'm kind of getting that ready. Cause I know I'm gonna for sure use those. Of course, if we're gonna make the floating candles, we're gonna need that, right? So yeah, I'm just kind of figuring out kind of what I want to do with at this point. So how do you turn on those lights? I'm gonna ask a really good question. She said, "How do you turn on the lights?" And the answer to that is, I don't know. <laughs> this is my first time using these. Um, waterproof LED lights so I really didn't know what the heck I was doing um, it didn't really come with instructions either of how to turn them on but I just figured that if I kind of um, just undo them and then try to put it back together hopefully I'll find a way to do it so that's what I was kind of doing there I'm just kind of taking the back off there's like an on and off sticker that was on there but I tried to turn it on and off and that wasn't working as well so I just kind of dissembled everything and took everything apart and then um it come with like two little battery looking things so i just grabbed those and put those back inside once i dissembled everything and took everything apart i just grabbed those batteries and put it back in because i figured that we we're going to need the little circle batteries so there i go just putting it back in and then um 
finding the top or the bottom to screw it back on it looks like little quarters <laughs> or like little pennies actually but yeah so I just doing that and then voila I finally figured out how to do it I got a little light going on so I'm like oh I think I'm doing something <laughs> Turn that back light off. Don't touch it. Oh, that one actually. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I finally got the light working. This little light of mine. We're going to let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> And this is so cool, y'all. So it actually changes colors, too. So after I got the LED lights worked, um, I just put it in at the bottom of the vase. And um, like I said, at this point, I'm still kind of figuring out how I want to do this. Um, I think I'm adding, like, little marbles. I'm adding the hard marbles right now. Um, so I'm just putting that at the bottom, kind of figuring out what I want to do with it. y'all so I'm taking these pretty pearl like hearts and I'm um, adding them as a layer so I have the ore beads at the bottom after the LED lights and then I'm taking the pearl hearts and adding them as well and the girls is helping me do this this is the fun part y'all y'all can get creative with it and have your little ones at home help y'all as well so yeah I'm just kind of layering them down at this point so Ori beads, pearl hearts, or beads, pearl hearts. <laughs> and those little ore beads are so squishy and and um slippery, so it it was like flying everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, so the kids like how it feel. I like how it feel too. It feels like I don't know, like a like a squish mellow but watery, like <laughs> slippery and slimy. So yeah, I just kinda repeat the process back and forth at this point until you fill it up about um I'll say like one inch to the top, leave a little one inch space to the top so that you can have your floating candle there as well. Alright y'all, so now that we have the ongoing process, you want to finally take your water jug and um, go ahead and pour the water into the vase. So as y'all can see, I filled up the vase with the beads and the pearls not too far. Um, I kind of left a little bit of space there. But as y'all can see, um, <laughs> this one kind of was a fail because I was expecting the pearls to kind of like look like they're floating in there. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're at, th at this point, we're still kind of experiencing of how we want things. And I'm not, I don't like how that turned out because the pearls are just like kind of sinking down at the bottom and that's not what I wanted at all, at all. So, um, I'm going to play around with it some more and see how do I get the pearls to float now. All right, y'all. So I realized that the pearls would not float inside the big vases for whatever reason i'm not sure why so instead of adding the pearl hearts i'm going to actually start over and take everything out and then um 
um, I decided to go in and use something light. So I realized that something light will actually look better and will actually work. Okay, so y'all, so as y'all see, now me and the kids are filling up this pretty big vase. And like I said, the heart pearls wouldn't float. Um, everything was kind of just slinking. So now I'm taking this pretty garland flower, and I'm just going to measure it and see where I want it. It's a little too big, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And so I have the LED waterproof light first, and then I went in and topped that off with some pretty white rocks. And then after the white rocks, I am I put that garland fl uh, pink flower. And then I found these pretty beads that's just going to float inside of it with it. It's going to be so pretty. So I'm just going ahead and taking that garland of bead pearls. It looked like pearls, though. So yeah, I'm just mixing that in with the flowers inside the vase and making sure I don't put too much and not too less. Alright y'all, so after I added the LED lights, the white rocks, and the flowers, I poured it some water in the vase and I realized that I poured a little too much. So I'm going to go ahead and dump some of the water out because I want to make sure that I have enough room for the floating candle to float. So again, if it's just too much water, you don't want to fill all the, the water all the way up to the top and you want to leave like an inch space for the floating candle to float at. So there I go, I'm just um, playing around with it to see how I like it. And I'm taking like a fork or a stick and I am moving everything around the flower just so that I can have enough room for the f um, floating candle to float. And I realized that that flower garland is a little too long so I'm going to go ahead and cut off a little bit at the top just again so that I can have some space for the floating candle. So there I go, just adjusting everything and putting everything where it needs to be. Alright y'all, so I'm going in with my second big vase. And then again, I'm adding the submersible LED light. And again, I'm kind of just figuring out what I want to do with everything. And yeah, I'm just... Moving everything out the way, I'm about to start on the second base. So I realized I wanted to do the white flower. It's like a white orchard flower, it's so pretty. It has a little pink in the inside of the flowers. So I decided I'm gonna use this.
Okay, y'all, so after adding the LED light and the white flower, I did add some water, and I realized I just wanted something else in there. So I went ahead and grabbed those pretty um, garland pearl beads looking things again, and then I'm just kind of placing that inside the water as well just to make it pop a little bit more. And so, yeah, I'm cutting everything, cutting some things down or taking the scissors to kind of rotate everything and adjust the flowers and the pearls wherever I needed to put it yeah so that's pretty much it with this one. Oh yeah I did realize that I'm going to take everything out and start over because the <laughs> the LED light is actually floating to the top so I need something to put down so that the LED bulb won't be floating so I took the LED light out as y'all can see, it's really floating at the top, and that's not what I want. I want the LED light to be at the bottom. So, to fix that, I'm going to add some white rocks at the bottom so that it can stay in place. So, I actually realized instead of adding white rocks, I could add the ore beads, and the ore beads will keep the um, LED light from floating at the top. So, yeah, I just went ahead and added some ore beads on top of the LED light and then I added the flowers of course and then I'm going in again with the pretty bead garland it's like a pearl bead garland that I'm just placing inside of it just so that I can have everything kind of pop inside the base and look beautiful as it should Alright y'all, so now that I have everything finished with this pretty orchard flower floating candle vase, um, I adjusted to how I wanted it, I added the pretty pearl garland, and yeah, that's everything for this vase. So now I'm going to go ahead and move this one out the way, and I'm going to start on my um, other vases, which is the, it's going to be the skinnier vases. So this is the one that I'm going to hope have the heart um, pearls to kind of float at the top. Or not at the top, but look like it's floating in the vase. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that first. Alright y'all, so now that the big vases is done, I'm starting on the skinny vase. So I'm kind of just repeating the same process. I started off by making sure the LED light is working and then of course spray down the vase so that I don't have any fingerprints or water stains or anything. And I know <laughs> y'all didn't see that, that I almost dropped it. It's okay, we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, just wipe down the vase. And then I kind of had an idea from the first vase that I tried of how I want to do this vase. So now I'm just hoping that this one kind of do what I want it to do. So yeah, I start off by putting the waterproof LED light down first at the base and we want to make sure that this do not float up. So I'm going to add some ore beads to kind of keep them in place. So yeah, I'm just adding some so that it won't float at the top. And then I'm going to kind of 
just layer it again so i have ore beads at the bottom and then i'm going to go ahead with the pearl hearts and kind of just repeat the process by layering them Alright y'all, so now that we have everything layered and filled up, this is the final result. Let's see how it looks with the water. <sighs> Yay, it worked! <laughs> now I finally got it to how I want it to look. So, as y'all can see, we finally have um, the hearts looking like that. It's floating! So, again, I'm just adjusting some stuff that I want taking a stick again i'm removing some ore beads as well because it's a little too much and i want to make sure that again i have room for the floating candle to be placed at the top but yeah this is pretty much it So I did want to mention that I did add some of those pretty bead pearl garlands as well. Just to kind of make everything pop. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm adding a little bit more water um, so that I can have the um, pearl hearts kind of float to the top a little bit more. And then yeah, there I go. I'm going to add the floating candle to the top. And that's it. Alright y'all, that's it. Um, I hope y'all like this video. Make sure that y'all give this a thumbs up. I even brought my baby boy <laughs> so that he can check it out. Um, no, I just have to be on mommy duties right now. So, <laughs> mommy duties never fail. But anyway, I am so happy with how this turned out. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for um, watching and it looks, looks so pretty with the changing lights at the bottom and how the pearls and the gems look like it's just floating in mid air even though it's in water. I just love how this turned out y'all and then I didn't light the candles yet but once you light the candles it's just going to top everything off. It's going to look so elegant and beautiful. So thank y'all so much for watching. Share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and give it a like. Thank you.